Even in times of adversity, God is working behind the scenes to make you better and to make you more successful. You hear of corporations that go through hard times and they come out leaner and they come out stronger and poised for more success. And the same is true with an individual. You hear it about politicians when they go into a heated debate. Often the pundits say that they're a better person after the debate because they've been refined and honed. Well, allow it to be in you too. There are two ways to take terrible things that happen in our lives. We just sit there on top of the problem as a victim, or we use it to hone and refine our skills so that we can reinvent ourselves and go on to greater success. I watched the other night on the History Channel a program about the refining of steel, and how this changed the whole world. And the key is heat. Well, often it is the key in our lives too. Thank God that we do not remain the same. Thank God that we do not remain stagnant and, and stayed in our ways. My friend, when something is refined, it is simply made more acceptable. Surely we would all like to make our lives more acceptable so that we can be a bigger success. This week, take a good, objective look at your life and then be willing to hone off the rough edges. This can be the key to great success in life. You know your objectionable qualities better than anyone else, so you already know what to hone. Refine your life by making a deliberate effort to get rid, once and for all, of those rough edges. This refinement process is often subtle, but the effects in our life are striking. I pray that you go with God this week and that you go with God in helping you to refine and become a better person.